New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy. Thank you so much um, for joining us, Governor. I know that you know abortion is is still legal in your state. You've uh, enacted um, protections for abortion. I want to know what you make of though what's been happening across the country. All these new and even more restrictive rules being put into law, even above what we're seeing in the polls, which is that the majority of people don't want these restrictions. Yeah, Katie, good to be with you. And you're absolutely right. In New Jersey, uh, I signed a law uh, a year and a half ago, which codified a woman's right to an abortion and reproductive freedom more broadly. Prior to that, as in many states, it was based on case law uh, and Roe v. Wade. We had the concern then that Roe v. Wade may get struck down. And, and sadly, we were right. I mean, we've gone into an era of government-regulated pregnancies. That's what this is. It's absolutely shocking. Uh, so as a substantive matter for women, their rights, their freedoms, this is a really dark period in our country. And, and that last comment that I think you made, this, this North Carolina thing, I'm the chair of the Democratic Governors Association. We came in heavily to help Roy, who's an outstanding governor. But this notion of multiple visits for women who have multiple jobs, invariably in communities of color, the 10 week Medicaid, it's incredibly offensive. So it's not just taking rights and freedom from women, it's also creating an us, a haves and have nots society. As a political matter, uh, these folks are playing with fire. Uh, if North Carolina wasn't a battleground state two weeks ago, next year, it is now. And folks had better be careful with what they wish for because, and this is going to happen in places that I think will really surprise folks that will be in play politically uh, and, and this year and next, and they've asked for it. Let me ask you about um, uh, this coalition of governors that you're a part of. I know you said that you're the head of the, the Democratic Governors Association. This is another coalition that 20 Democratic governors are a part of. Not all of the Democratic governors out there are in this, including uh, Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear. He's not a part of this coalition. He's in a much more red state. Um, can you explain what you guys are doing, what you're doing to ensure protections, not just in these Democratic-led states, but also uh, for women around the country who are potentially traveling to get an abortion? Yeah. I mean, it, uh, it's a coalition of 20 governors, 20 states with like-minded values. We are, listen, we're the Democratic Party, we are the Big Tent Party. So it, it it's not, shouldn't be surprising to anybody that not all of the governors are a part of it. But you're absolutely right. This is a statement about the values that we share, the policies that we support, the laws that we sign. And again, increasingly, and I say this as an American with a very heavy heart, it, it's not just abortion, but it's led by abortion. We're becoming a patchwork quilt country. So it really matters where you live and work. And so another aspect of this coalition is, if you will, reciprocal uh, relationship and rights. and and. And while we haven't seen a huge uptick in New Jersey, uh, importantly, the rights and freedoms of women in New Jersey are for those who reside in New Jersey or happen to travel to New Jersey. Uh, and that's a consistent theme with this coalition as well. Is there anything you can do as a governor um, if Miffa Pristone gets struck down by the Supreme Court? Oh, my Lord. I mean, I listened to your reporters talk about some of the positions these judges in New Orleans are taking. I mean, we've gone to the CEOs of both Walgreens and CBS to make sure that we had unencumbered as aspect uh, access. We have considered a bulk um, acquisition. Uh, we have clearly joined in uh, legal action uh, as an amicus matter. Uh, everything is on the table, uh, and please God, it doesn't come to that, but um, we will continue to fight it so like that. if you get a bulk, um, uh, a, a bulk order of Mifepristone, would you be then prescribing it out uh, in uh, defiance of the Supreme Court? To be determined. Hmm. Um, but we, when I say everything is on the table, Katie, I mean that. I, I think when, when you've got, this is going to cost this action generally, whether it's Mifepristone, or whether it's North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, by the way, at six weeks. My wife and I don't think that we knew we were pregnant with any of our four kids at six weeks. So 
people need to understand that. But this is going to cost people's lives. It's going to cost them health. It's also going to cost people's lives, women in particular, sadly. And so if that's what's at stake, we'll do whatever it takes to save lives.